Welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? <laughs> dig it. I said gonna dig it. I already did these brakes already. Can you dig it? Alright, we have an 04 GMC Yukon. And uh, today what I'm gonna do is show you how to uh, do the front brakes. <coughs> the customer just bought the vehicle not too long ago. Uh, we just checked it out, went over the vehicle, and um come to find out the back brakes are uh, really low. Front brakes are about 50%. Still got a lot left. So um, first thing to do, let's get our hydraulic jack and um, pull these wheels off, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. First thing you wanna do is make it easy for yourself is jack the back of the vehicle up from uh, the differential. Let me get up under here and look. See how I got the hydraulic jack right up under the differential? So that way, you can jack up the whole back of the vehicle at the same time. And you notice in the front, you see I got a little jack stand right there. Because, you know, jack, the, the driveway is on like a slant and the vehicle <coughs> can roll back. So you want to get something to chuck them front wheels up from moving. Make sure that um, jack is really tight. Alright, next what we're going to do is go up in the front. And you want to take off the cover to the master cylinder. So when you push them calipers back, the, the fluid got room to go back up in there. All right, so let's set you down right here. And right now we're gonna start off on the driver's side. Get all this out of here. All right, here we go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do this a quick way. Instead of uh, we're gonna try not to try to do this without removing both bolts on the caliper. So what I got here is a 12 millimeter shallow socket, and we're just gonna remove the bottom bolt <coughs> to the caliper. Then you might need a screwdriver or something. You might sit up you know, to pry it up by hand. I guess you get that caliper moving. That's giving me a hard time. You know what? Let's take off both bolts. Now I noticed that when I took off this took off this bolt, put this to the side. You got sliders on the caliper bracket. So when I was taking that out, that was spinning. And you can see I just held it by hand a little bit just to stop that from turning. Now let's get this caliper out of here. And this is what you call a dual piston caliper because there's two pistons in there all right so what we're gonna do is try to get this up here like this this is where it becomes easy at we need to push those pistons back what we're gonna do is take one of the old brake pads if it wants to come out of there take Take one of the old brake pads, set it up against the pistons just like that. Then you're gonna get you a C-clamp. Open that C-clamp up. Put the old brake pad in there. Do not push up against these pistons because you will break them. So get that caliper in there, get, get that, hold it just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a screwdriver here. I'm gonna use a screwdriver. And what I'm gonna do is slowly start turning clockwise, pushing that piston back. And you notice the other one's not going back yet. So when we get to a certain point like that, 
I'm gonna back it up. Move it to this side. Now as I tighten it up this one, this one's gonna start to come out, but it's, it's okay. You see, it just came out there just a little bit. Now we're just gonna keep turning. And then you notice that I'm tightening it up enough. The other one's going in a well as well. There we go. Those are pushed back. Take that off. And let's go get our new brake pads. All right, we're back. We got some, uh, that's got the brakes from Fisher Auto Parts. Uh, ceramic brake pads. Let's open these up. Okay. Now, before we put the new brake pad in, you notice I left the old one over here on this side. I want to get you some anti seize and just put a little bit where the brake pad is going. That's so that brake pad can slide because it's very possible that they can slide in and won't slide back out. All right. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of our, take our old brake pad, you notice where the wear sensor is on this. So we wanna get another pad and we wanna make sure the wear sensor is on the same side. So we know that one's right there. Let's see, get this in there. In there. You know, sometimes I hate putting these brake pads in here. Okay. Now the reason why I did that and left this one in, because of the, the shim up here, this plate, the slider. So if I would have took both of them out, it would have probably dropped out and then been in the way and all. So I just wanted to leave that up there. Now I can pop out my back one, turn it around. Notice my wear sensor is on this side, so we get us a brake pad with the wear sensors on that side. And then we go in there and put that in there. Oops, almost forgot. Get us a little anti seize in there. Once you get that in there like that, bring your caliper back down, and at the same time, you got little sliders over here. Make sure those sliders are moving, because if not, it will cause one brake pad to wear faster than the other. Both of these are moving, so let's get our caliper right down in there. Get our two bolts. Okay, they're in. Now let's tighten them up. tie back up here and go to the other side okay um, before we get to that side what, am, what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here well we got a lot of room left but if your brake fluid was getting full at that time what you want to do is close it up pump the brake pedal up to get that one set Okay, keep pumping them up to the... There we go. 
Okay, now we set those, set this brake pad, and the caliper, the pistons came out, and everything good with that. Now, what we're gonna do, let's take this back off. Go over here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get our ratchet, and I'll be right back. All right, let's start the air compressor up. Let's get our two 12 millimeter bolts out. As you can see, when I spin it, see how that top turns? Some of you are gonna get me a pair of vice grips so I can uh, hold that in place and see if the bottom will come out. This is what I was talking about on the other side. Looks like that one's turning too. So, let me go get some vice grips for a pair of pliers and be right back. All right, let me show you what I'm, get a closer look. And you see right here, that's part's gonna spin when I take off that uh, bolt. And you might have that problem too. So you're gonna take a pair of vice grips and uh, just hold it in place. It ain't gotta be a lot. Okay, and then we're going to hit that again. All right, so let's, let's do that again. I'm going to have to go a little bit tight on these vice grips. Okay. We noticed our bottom one was doing the same thing. So let's get up under here and pull that one in place. Okay. Get this caliper off of here. You notice know, I gotta rock it back and forth, so. So you're gonna have the same, same problem. All right, we got it. Set it up. Instead of taking those brake pads out, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the one from the other side. Okay. Let's uh, take a screwdriver and slowly bring this in. And then somewhat. Now let's go to the other side. And then I'm going to start going in all the way. And once it reaches that bottom one, the second one, the first piston, it's going to bring both of them down at the same time. our clamp off. See so clamp off. Keep our caliper out of the way. And now let's get to these brake pads. Okay. Let's pop the top one out. The front in the front. Pop it out. Pull a little anti C's. Where the brake pad is going to slide at top and bottom get a rag or something i got a piece of plastic <laughs> look at the brake pad got the wear sensor on the right so we'll get our new ones this one's left wear sensor on the left wrong one here it is right on the right 
So let's pop that in there. Pop the other one out. Get our anti seize. No matter what car you're doing brakes on, you want to make sure you put some anti seize where that brake uh, pad slides at. Again, if not, you, run, you definitely want a chance of that brake pad getting stuck in there. And as you can see, then the person we're hearing is squealing. And uh, you see how low the, I mean, that's, that's low. And as you can see the little shiny part right on the, this is the wear sensor to the little shiny part. So that little part is what you're hearing hitting up against your rotor. And just to let you know, you better give me some brakes. Or I'm going to really cost you some money. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get our other brake pad in there. Make sure our sliders are working. On. And put the, the bolts in. Now with my other hand, I was like slightly holding <coughs> the pin. And uh, sometimes you can see it locks up. Sometimes you might have to use that vice grip. There you go. We're gonna pump the put the tie on, pump the brake pedal up, and we'll be complete. We'll be right back. Alright, there you have it. Top the brake fluid off, pump the brake pedal up before you move the vehicle. Because you go to <coughs> step on the brakes, that brake fluid is going to go right to the floor. Any questions, be sure to comment on them. Comment. I'll be more than happy to respond back. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Now take it easy. The top tech. Number one. Number one.